Hey guys, yo, what's up? Sheree here. I have not filmed like a vlog like this in such a long time. So it is my second day in Korea and we are going to go on a solo trip for a couple hours. I'm kind of nervous actually. I have been so nervous to go out ever since going to Korea. Well, it's so pretty out even though it's very rainy today. I wanted to go visit some place that I'm familiar with since I'm kind of freaked out and <laughs> not know where I am. And so we are going to go to the Han River, very close to where my old university is and maybe we'll visit my old university. I think that would be really cool to visit Chungwang Day. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Outfit of the day. I, oh, I don't know what shoes to wear yet, but we'll figure that out. So I'm gonna go out. Yeah, guys, let's just see what happens. So first I need to go to the convenience store and get to an ATM, get some cash out, fill up my transaction transportation card and take the subway and so that's kind of what we're gonna do maybe I'll find some food I should find the taco bong the, the chocolate bread that I love so much I should I really should try to find it that might be difficult though we'll see so we're gonna see what happens during this trip and it'll be a good time hopefully so yeah let's go That worked really well. I wasn't even looking for a convenience store and I just found one and it was perfect. Gosh, Korea, I love you. We're gonna find my... The stop. The subway stop. <laughs> Jet lag day too, guys. I can't speak. I'm kind of nervous to use the subway. I haven't done this in such a long time. Let's go, now or never. You are my baby, you are my baby. No, I'm not the man that we go up so. You are my baby, you are my baby. Only we talk, all the men are my son that care. Ever. Yes, I am biased. Of course I am. It's so, so hot. I mean, it's summer in Korea, so it's about the same as Hawaii though. Let's be, let's be real. It's super interesting. I want you guys to realize how actually uncomfortable I am right now. Like, this whole day leaving has been uncomfortable for me. Because I used to be so familiar with this place and I have to relearn everything. And just being at CAU and not being a student here, it just feels weird. Yeah, so I, I'm really uncomfortable right now, but it's like needed. I need to like get out of this comfort zone so I can become used to this comfort zone. Like, I, And now we are here. Or was it over there? I don't remember. It was either here or over there. That, um, that Chewan and I had our last like meal together before I left Korea. We had, what was it? We had tteokbokki, uh, yopki tteokbokki, and we had it like here. I think it was here. I think so. I'm not sure. Wow, that was a while ago. I will link that video in the description below the day that I left Korea in case y'all are interested. Also, I have like some tips for if you are uncomfortable, how to feel better. When you're going somewhere, like when I was going on the subway, I don't like people to think I'm like a horn who doesn't know what I'm doing. I like to pretend that I know what I'm doing even if I don't. So things that I do is first, I listen to like really chill music. I was listening to Talk by Khalid, I think. And for some reason, like I just found that song and it's been like super chill. The next thing is to practice a bored face. If you look bored or like, yeah, I do this every day, like no one's gonna think 
no one's gonna notice you or think anything weird of you. So that's another thing that I do. Third, if you like, you do make a mistake, like you end up like there was time where I like was like, wait, that's not my exit, and then I turned around, and then I was like, wait, no, it is my exit. And just laugh at yourself a little, be like, oh yeah, like stupid, and then like go, and then people don't really notice. It's like I'm more concerned about people caring about me when honestly they're probably not even caring at all about me. So yeah. Anyways, so we're just gonna go explore a little bit more on Chulang Day, and before I get too uncomfortable, but I gotta test my limits, and then we're gonna leave and go somewhere else. Also, if I don't film a lot, it's because I am uncomfortable and still getting used to everything. So just so you know, yeah, okay, bye. Hey, 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 International Center for all you international students. That's where you go. <laughs> oh, oh. Guys, it's still there. It looks a lot cooler now, but it's still there. Old workplace. Oh, there's people in there. Oh, cool. Anyways. <laughs> a good dose of CAU. Now I'm gonna go back down all those stairs and go somewhere else. <laughs> Literally guys, it's exactly the same. Like... Wow. The basketball courts! I really feel like I'm in one of my old vlogs again. <laughs> Alright, update, I just got some kimbap, some got kimbap. This one is one of my favorites, I have two favorites. And it's cheese da kalbi is my first favorite, and a tonju bibim is my second favorite. This one's just like spicy and I like it. And the cheese da kalbi one has like cheese in it and spiciness, so it's amazing. We're just gonna go visit my bridge really quickly, and then we're gonna head out, head home because I'm, oh, I'm pretty tired. <laughs> so yeah, we'll do some food ASMR because I'm chill on. I probably didn't even sound like anything. It's new. Mm. Oh, there's there's English. What? Nice Korea. Nice. Do you guys remember this area? Like I walked here all the freaking time. Like I swear you could find me here like any day, any evening. Oh my god. What? <laughs> this is so cool. I'm just sitting by myself and just like, woohoo, life is great. Wow, okay, I'm happy now. Life is great. I'm past the point of being uncomfortable. We're fine. Okay. Okay, now okay, now this seems so similar. Like just not similar. So familiar. Like I don't even I, this is like home to me. It's like so normal. Alright, cool. Yeah. Thank you for joining me on Memory Lane in Omidak, Seoul, South Korea. <laughs> I wanna be a morning baby. Is it but some be Yo, what's up? I'm back at Taewon's place. I just bought this huge thing of water and drank this much of it. I feel so weird right now, you guys. Like, I got home and I was legit, like, shaky. And I'm still kind of shaky. And I don't know, like, what the heck is up with me. I don't know. I felt really weird coming home today. I think it was because I was so dehydrated. So I've been drinking, trying to drink. I'm trying to drink this whole thing as quickly as possible. Which I don't know if this is, it's a smart move or not. But I'm doing it. I just feel really weird today. <laughs> Hold on, I bought ice cream. I bought ice cream even though I know Jalen and I are having gelato tonight. <laughs> this is my like favorite ice cream. It's my all time favorite. So yeah, I just wanted to tell you my thoughts before I wrap the video up. I think this is going to be the end of the video. If not, I will film more later. 
Oh, it's so good. Basically, I just wanted to tell you guys my overall thoughts about visiting, like, back where I used to live and stuff and how it felt. So I decided to go to campus today just because I was kind of scared to get out and get around in Seoul, which is what usually happens when I come go to a different country. I'm really scared at first to, like, go out. So that's why I chose a place that I'm familiar with to go to. And that was really good. Like, by the end of the trip, like, I just felt super normal, super chill, just, like, traveling around. So I think it did the trick what I wanted it to. So that was really good. At first, it was very uncomfortable. I don't know why. It just was. But by the end, it was totally fine. I just needed to get out there. Once I am out there, then I'm like, okay, we're all good. But it was so strange. I did not expect to feel the way that I did. How do I explain this, even? Visiting all those places, like, gave me a lot of memories. Like, a lot of memories came back to me when that happened. It's like I'd realized that I had moved on from that time period of my life though. It's like I could tell I'm a different person now than I was back then and it's like I don't really miss those times very much. I thought I did before coming to Korea. I like wish that I could just go back to that time but now that I visited campus again and everything I'm like yeah that was like an amazing part of my life. It was freaking fantastic but I wouldn't want to go back to it which is surprising it was a surprising feeling to have but i think it's like because that place is so familiar to me and so normal to me and i spent so long there it's like i realized you know i gotta get out to new experiences other places especially in korea i don't know if i'm articulating this correctly or not i feel like i'm not <laughs> but yeah i guess it kind of just like reminded me the future is brighter than your past even if you don't think it is, I feel like it is. And dwelling on the past is not going to get you anywhere. And here's the thing. I feel like the thing that I missed the most about Korea was the people that I saw and, like, the relationships that I had. And so my friends at CAU, yeah, like, Jihei, Taewon, even, like, my friends at the e where I worked and different people on campus that I knew and that sort of environment. It's, like, that that I missed. Not the actual place itself, but, like, the experiences of what happened there and the people that I met there and hung out with there. And I think that's what I was reminded of again. I was reminded again of how important relationships are to me. This is so good. I feel like I sound really weird and melancholy right now, but I'm not. I'm just like pretty tired, I think, because of all the everything. And I'm on my period. I got it yesterday, and so that's probably another reason why I'm kind of out of sorts as well with my jet lag. Oh my goodness. But it's a really positive thing. It's like by going to Jung University and seeing all that and going back to where I used to be, it was just kind of great to just like see that, get that over with, and now be like, yeah, I'm happy where I am like right now. I have no idea what I'm saying anymore. The fact, the point of the, I can't even speak. What I'm trying to say is like, that was a really cool experience going and visiting Jung University, but it just reminded me that the future is better than the past, I feel like. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know what's going on. I try to make this video good, but I feel like it's just like fail, 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 fail. It's about 420 right now, and so what I'm gonna do is edit a bit of the YouTube video I filmed yesterday, and then I'm gonna teach at around around 6, and then Jiwon's gonna come home around 6.30. We're gonna have Hedal delivery, and I'm so excited for that. And then I'm gonna teach again, and then go to bed. <laughs> so that's, that's what it's gonna be like, and... Yeah, I like this new life that I'm living right now. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I'm gonna get going. I hope you enjoyed that video of me going out and seeing where I used to go to school and stuff. It was pretty, it was really cool. It was just weird. It was like, oh my gosh, all these weird feels are kidding me and I don't know what to do with them all. Anyways, okay, yeah, I'm gonna get going and I will see you soon with another video. Remember guys, life doesn't only begin at the end of your comfort zone. It also begins at the end of your comfort zone. Bye guys, see you tomorrow.